Hi, I'm Derek Yu from Mossmouth. I'm the lead designer and lead artist of Spelunky 2. And we're going to watch some Spelunky 2 speedruns today. And I'm joined by Mickey Pasquale. Hi, everyone. This is Mickey. I'm the lead programmer in Spelunky 2. And Eric Serka. Hey, what's up? This is Eric. I'm the sound designer and composer on Splunky 2. And I think I think the run started. So, yeah, they've got the teleporter. That's kind of what I expected. Yeah. This is an any percent speed run. So I'm imagining it's it's going to be pretty quick. This is okay. such a difficult item for me to master. I just never pick it up when I see it. Yeah. And it's awesome for, especially for speedruns, but I just can't bring myself to do it. I like the telefrag of the caveman boss, Quillback, or Quillium, as people like to call him now. <laughs> and already just, yeah, teleporting through the whole game. Yes, the game's... Almost done already here. Oh, <laughs> see, it's not that hard, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's an easy game. Okay, I'm curious about this. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to see water for some reason. Yeah, I thought so too. That caught me by surprise. <laughs> Yeah, they're just dodging so much stuff. I would have died so many times already. <laughs> yeah, just from the teleport itself, just yeah, teleporting yeah, yeah, exactly. yourself. Exactly. The levels go by so fast that I it's like only when they're in the transition can I actually process what happened. <laughs> wow. Two mechs, that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm very curious to see how they go through Neo Babylon. Because it's just a nightmare normally. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of. Traps worst. and things like that. Yeah, worst area for me, probably. Yeah. Especially if you're trying to go fast. Spark traps are. <laughs> How much of this is just pure reaction? I'm curious. There we go. That's it. Oh my gosh. Yep. Wow, Telefragging Tiamat. <laughs> I have to say. Yeah, I don't think about telefragging too much when I'm, you know, when we were working on the game, like I just, I didn't think about it that much. Especially not Tiamat. And that's it. I feel like half of that run was just the intro. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I blinked and uh, I felt like I missed it, so. But there you go. Easy game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fun, casual game. I mean, it's taken me like hours and hours and hours to beat, to beat in, in easy mode, but yeah, it's, it's, you can see it here. <laughs> I mean, I have to say the game is not about just beating it or beating it fast. If you're watching this and you're feeling like, well, I'm never <laughs> going to be able to do that. It's not about that. It's really about the journey, about yeah, exploring, definitely. enjoying. But yeah, that was pretty nuts. I think they got the achievement for, uh, Beating it quickly. Okay, yeah, and we're starting with a new speed run. This is called Eggplant Percent. Pretty sure that is unique to Spelunky 2. Um, and I'm told that this is a seeded run. So presumably this was a run that they actually mm. practiced. And... Yeah, in Spelunky 2, there is an item called an eggplant, and you can only get it by sacrificing a present onto an altar like they just did. And they got a cape, too, so that's kind of interesting. 
I wonder if this is really seeded. You, you don't see the message at the top, right? That's true. That's actually true, yeah. No, there's supposed to be an icon in the upper right if it's seated. Mm -hmm. That actually makes it more impressive. It does. Yeah, because it takes a while to get the present and the altar in the same level. Yeah. So the eggplant is really fragile, which is why you're probably going to see them put it down on the ground a lot. Like, if it falls even a little bit, it's going to break. Or if it hits yeah. anything. Smallest thing can break it, yeah. <laughs> Wonder what route they're going to take. Yeah. I'm going to guess Volcana. I feel like it's the faster route overall, mm -hmm. but pretty dangerous. You don't want to get lava on that eggplant. It's a good bomb cook right there. It's pretty sad how long it takes me to uh, get past full bag still. <laughs> Like how carefully I still play that compared to this. <laughs> I finally I finally got used to to bombing him, but not that way. I usually just throw a bomb his way and just go the other way. That usually works. I don't usually cook it like that. Oh, that was funny. The the shopkeeper fired and it reflected off yeah. the robot and yeah. him. <laughs> Here's the part where people sometimes complain about having to wait for the lava, but they're just going <laughs> for it. See, you can just go for it. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they, that was a uh, like a secret entrance that's, you know, randomly generated. Wow, that whipping of the of the arrow was pretty impressive. So far, it's just like really high level play. I actually don't know if I've ever beaten Vlad without using the Hunter. He's surprisingly tough, but yeah. right yeah. there. So the problem with him is that you hit him and then he teleports and then you have a brief window to hit him again and hurt him yeah. before he'll teleport, start teleporting mm -hmm. again. And yeah, they just made him telefrag himself. So what was interesting is that they actually climbed up the uh, and went to the normal exit. I guess it was a little faster in the previous level, I mean. Oh, right. Yeah. It's like it's taking me a, a few seconds to process what's going on and then they're yeah. already in the next level. <laughs> no, but that makes sense because like he already had the exit there. It, it's, it probably made no sense to go back to, to the bottom. Let's see how they handle Olmec. Oh, geez. I'm already sweating. Yeah. Just like that. Holding the <laughs> holding the eggplant next to this giant crushing machine. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Okay, gonna give the eggplant to Waddler. Waddler will right. keep items for you. Waddler's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty funny. Right, so this seems to be latest patch because uh, floaters only take one hit point. Yeah, I was gonna say right. we've we've tweaked Olmec a little bit since the game first came out. Yeah. I have a, a much better time myself with this boss now. Okay. So I think yeah. there were good changes. Yeah, I like him better too. I think it's good. I think he's in a good place now. Yeah. Okay. He's going for the for the ank. Wow. I have yet to do this part with this with this new. 
uh, behavior. Yeah, this part hasn't changed since we released it, though, right? But that was very clean, just whipping those UFOs. Yeah, but just because the fact that people used to just wait upstairs, like this, uh, this phase was completely ignored. Right. Or Mick usually went straight down. I know, which is why we had to change it, because I love that third yeah. phase. Yeah, yeah. I think and it's it my even favorite has, phase. Uh, it even has music for it. You know, each face has different pieces yeah. of the music, and no one had ever heard that third face. Music. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we changed it. We, we yeah. wanted people to hear Eric's that music. Would be the main reason. <laughs> That's my incentive. <laughs> oh, octopus, there is. That was pretty smooth. Okay, so he left the, the eggplant up. Ah, no, 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 it wasn't that on, on Waddler. Never mind. Yeah. Forgot. Yeah, you can imagine Waddler is just carrying it somewhere behind yeah. the scenes. Scared not to break it. Well, no, Waddler stores items inside his body, so he's just got the eggplant, like, sucked inside him somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I imagine Waddler exists on, in, like, multi multiple planes at the same time and he just like puts something inside his body and it appears elsewhere. Yeah. It's like a teleporting entity. <laughs> Safest there place. you go. Waddler lore. We're just creating it on the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the deep Waddler lore. Oh, it's been confirmed, by the way. This, seat, this run isn't seated. Okay, it's not seated. No. That's fun. Just jump and whip that thing to make it mm -hmm. quick. Yep. Yeah. That's much, much faster than doing it the proper way. Definitely. I think the thing that is really impressing me is just how they're keeping track of, like, everything that's going on. I don't know, even after all this time, like, you know, when I get to the Lake of Fire, it's just, mm -hmm. I have to think about every step that is required <laughs> to actually, you know, bring all the items you need to the next stage. And yeah, just keeping all this in their head at the same time is really impressive. Whoa, did they, yeah, they just, looked at the uh, tablet yep. of destiny and memorized it right then yeah. huh <laughs> yep so he knows which one to pick straight away okay yeah, i think he's going to carry it <laughs> got the eggplant back from waddler thank you waddler Back to sleep. There they are, the eggplant child. Is this intended, Derek, by the way? I don't think I ever asked you. Why? The ice, the ice cave skip. Did, did oh, you make it so you could fall and just grab the edge? No, edge, no, not at oh, all. Okay. okay. Was not intended. <laughs> cool, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can just drop straight down. You can kind of like line up two tiles where if you just yeah you just drop straight oh. down you can skip a big part of it mm -hmm. Ooh, they actually got hit there i wonder how much they're sweating at this point probably <laughs> a lot eggplant child is a very good child though they just go to sleep as soon as you put them down <laughs> Yeah, that's not how it works in real life, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh! That scared me. All right, so if you go back and you look at the journal entry, you can pause it and you can see what they're looking for. I have no idea. <laughs> This place is scary too, just with all the elevators going on. Right, yeah. 
Yeah, Jesus elevator, Christ, number one scariest trap in the game. <laughs> sure. Can easily crush you on those little corners. Okay. So one. Oh. Ooh, took another hit. I wonder if that was intentional, like if they thought that, you know, it was just worth it for speed. I guess speedrunners like, always say it's intentional, see. right? <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to see when they're out of the camera bounds, though. Yeah, those traps, the laser yeah. traps and the arrow traps. Yep. I love how they put the eggplant child to sleep at the beginning of the level. <laughs> Do you wait here, son? Yeah. <laughs> they're just... I, they're just so... They seem so tender with the eggplant and the child. It's great. <laughs> So the eggplant child actually did make it into the spaceship with them. Yep. As long as they're alive, they'll be they'll be in the spaceship. Sorry, everybody. Bye bye. So now they have to bring the child with them, and you'll see why in a little bit. This is scary, though. Those regenerating blocks will crush you if you yeah. are in front of them when they regenerate. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's figured it out by now, but this is a metaphor for parenthood. <laughs> Carrying your little baby through through dangerous <laughs> places. Oh. Oh. Did they know that was gonna happen? Yeah, they probably they were like the um, child got hit. Yeah. Swag strats. Oh my gosh, my heart totally skipped a beat, though. <laughs> and welcome to Eggplant World. All that nice eggplant juice flowing. Yeah. Delicious eggplant juice. I don't know if it's what it actually looks like, but... Nice and pink. All right, there's a the crown. So I think the goal of Eggplant Percent is to just beat the game with the crown. And if you're wearing the crown, you can throw eggplants, of course. Okay, yeah, I had to check their health. I forgot that they got a bunch of health in Eggplant okay. World. Yeah. If you, eat the, if you eat the face of the Eggplant King, you gain a lot of health. I yeah, know, it's, can, it's really obvious, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can... <laughs> you would. You can definitely get like 99 lives out of there, if I believe, if I recall correctly. I think so, yeah. So far, I feel like this is mostly just top notch spelunking, right? <laughs> I mean, I have yet to reach the sunken city, so yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just super impressive. Just. Really good reactions. Wow, I would be so nervous here. Yeah, for sure. Oh. We need to see a heart rate monitor. <laughs> it's at like 600 beats per minute right now. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to be a speed runner. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah. That's scary. The ultimate eggplant versus egg showdown right here. Eggplants are good, eggs are bad. <laughs> it's the ultimate message of Spelunky 2. 
Well, that was really amazing that they defeated the um, Hundun before getting up here. Yeah. Yeah. With like that. no weapons, and that's Minus it. 12. Jeez. Wow. Good job. I mean, I'm gonna have to go back and watch this whole thing. I'm just, my brain is still, the gears in my brain are just grinding on, on what I just saw. I don't know, Derek, I think we just make it, didn't make it hard enough, like. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a good point. Game's too easy. <laughs> well, let's patch it. All right. Yeah, time to go work on the patch. <laughs> More moles to every level of the game. <laughs> you know, I don't know if we People saw any moles. Bit. Did we see any moles? Maybe not. I don't recall, no. I don't know. Yeah. So, can't complain about the moles anymore. We're going to bring them back. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, was awesome, fun. though. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, lots of close calls. It felt like, but I don't know. You don't know how much is how much is intentional in these runs. It was cool. Yeah, it makes me want to <laughs> makes me want to go play the game and try to uh, <laughs> get better at it. <laughs> My next goal is almost reaching Sunken City, but I mean, not at this speed and no no eggplants in right. flat. <laughs> <laughs> I think the funny thing is, whenever I watch these speed runs, like it does make me want to play the game and try to do it myself, and then yeah, and then I always yeah. fail. And like I'm feeling that same feeling right now, even though we made this game. Well, that's cool. Yeah, no, it was fun. That was really good.